Hi guys, welcome back to the Jedi Knight of the Woods channel. It's Paul here and thanks very much for spending the time to join me for another video. What I wanted to do on this occasion was just introduce you to another piece of kit that uh, is an absolute essential for me. Um, obviously I've mentioned before that I look to, uh, to put the kit together on a modular basis and this is, this is one of those modules, if you like, that uh, is always one of the first that goes into the pack or on the belt. This is my brew kit. It can be combined with the meal kit that I have and also the Kelly kettle which is another piece of equipment that I'll use for uh, different activities. This one, as I say, is the, uh, the, the brew kit. It's housed in a, a Maxpedition style pouch. This is not an official Maxpedition product but it is one that I picked up fairly cheaply from the internet from Hong Kong. And it's uh, performed admirably so far I've got to say. It's the equivalent of the Maxpedition bottle holder or 10x4 pouch, I believe it is. So, I'll take you through the kit just quickly. Its uh, front pouch here is where I keep my uh, essential supplies like some soup sachets, that sort of thing, can be added to any wild edibles that I find. Uh, I've also got some sachets of coffee. At the moment, I've got the Nescafe cappuccino ones in there, uh, but I also use the Kenko as well, they're pretty good. So, I'll keep those in there. Um, the other pouch that I put on the side is I believe the Dutch, uh, just a simple Dutch army pouch and I use this basically as a sort of a tinder pouch if you like. With this brew kit I like to have the option to either use uh, normal fuels like liquid fuels but more often than not I like to use natural fuels uh, and I'll go through how I go about doing that. Uh, the other thing to point out is this pouch, unlike the Maxpedition ones, actually has the straps on the back which are very handy. I can either chuck this in the pack or attach it to the pack but also allows belt carry as well. So in this pouch here, that's uh, just containing some green heat gels at the moment. They're kind of left over from the, the winter months when you know, sometimes it can be pretty difficult to get a fire going and in dampness. Uh, so this can greatly aid your chances there. Uh, I've got a small little tin of char cloth there. I'm going to be making some more of that soon, so I'll probably do a video on how to do that. There's loads out there on YouTube how to make char cloth but just to take you through my experiences of it, I might do that. Also another Altoids tin with a Ranger band, wet weather fire lighting. This is more really, I say, a, a tinder, tinder tin or box. I wouldn't call it a fire lighting kit as such, but stashed in here I've got just a tampon for um, roughing up for, for tinder. I've got a very, very small bag of dryer lint there as well, which is handy for taking a spark. That's, when I've done a couple of cotton washes or wool washes. Um, in the bottom of the tin now, I don't know if you can see that, I won't take it out, but I've got a Fresnel lens, so for summer months that's handy for fire lighting as well. Then I've got a small amount of steel wool, very, very fine gauge, and also in a Ranger Band cut to size is a, a 12 volt battery, not 12 volt, whatever the volt is on that, uh, but a battery anyway for using the method of the, the battery and the steel wool to start a fire. So, you know, a number of different methods. I'll keep the, the fire steel on me and a lighter as well, that sort of thing. But that's just to give me a helping hand. So to go into the meat and bones really of this kit, this will, as a standalone unit, enable me to live quite happily for a couple of days with, you know, some ration packs, whatever. Um, and there's a number of different flexible options that I think this gives me. I've spent a lot of time putting this together and searching out the different containers, uh, sourcing the other various bits within the kit as well to, to reach something that I, I think is pretty comprehensive. So let's have a look at what we've got inside. The, uh, the zipper comes round. These things are in here in the order that I would expect them to come out and be used on sort of a regular basis. So the first thing that comes out is the Tatonka mug. This is uh, a 500 mil capacity, folding handles, I'm sure you've seen these before. Um, absolutely impeccable bit of kit, absolutely love it. It's big enough that I can heat food in there, a decent amount of food, or I use that normally just to heat my water as well. So that's item number one. Second thing to come out is the Guide Designs bottle. This is the straight sided version, uh, not the backpacking model. Absolutely indestructible piece of kit this. I know a lot of people favour the plastic bottles, um, but for me really this gives the option where I can heat my water in this and my food in the mug. Um, put that on the fire. I haven't done it with it yet, uh, not had a, a reason to do so, but it gives me the option at least if I want to. Just over a litre I think of fluid that goes in that, you know, you can chuck this thing down a mountain and still go to the bottom and pick it up again, you're going to have your fluids in there. 
So uh, absolutely fantastic bit of kit there. And of course the cup fits beautifully over the top. So next thing to come out is essentially a combination piece of kit. Now this can either be used as the hobo stove or I can use it as a, a windbreak if I want to. This is the, the essentially the hobo stove that I like to use um, the, the natural fuel in. Quite a large opening on there. Now some people might say it's too large. It's not actually. It tends to work quite nicely. Uh, I do choose a position for this where it's out of direct wind. Um, you know, maybe shielded on different sides. In terms of using liquid fuel this is an option this is a Tatonka burner um, very very cheap and good value for money this thing I think stainless steel again just the equivalent of the the, the Trangia style I've just simply got the screw top lid on there but it is uh, equipped with an o-ring just inside the lid so obviously you don't want to be using this thing to put the the, the flame out as such or the, the jets out but what you find is inside this ring you can see it nicely there is it's in, there's an indentation so the, the ridge along the top there is higher than, than this central piece what it does allow you to do is while the burner is there it enables you to put this on top and actually turn it up that way to cover the jets um, so uh, that's my option for any liquid fuel if I want it um, absolutely cracking, uh, cracking little burner um, the hobo stove is uh, my main um, tool of choice for heating this. What I've done is I, I've just cut some notches just in the side there. This is this is very plain and simple. Just cut some notches in the side there so that when the cup goes on top, um, spreading out the uh, the handles a tiny little bit, it sits perfectly within those notches. Um, sits in there like that and enables me just to give a little pinch on the handles and that actually keeps that upright with even for sort of 400 mils of water in there. Perfect distance from the flames in the bottom and the fuel to the bottom of the mug. Works really, really well. And of course the final piece to this is on the bottom. This is actually the lid of the canister, which is what I use to cover the top. Uh, generally around that way. So again, that enables me to increase the boil time for the fluids in there. The other alternative that I've got is if I find some... Uh, in fact, that does stick in there quite nicely. Um, the other option that I've got is I can use this as the stove. I can use this as a little frying pan if necessary. I do have a pot gripper in the cook kit that I use, so I can combine that if needs be. I've also always got the multi-tool on me as well, so it also enables me to take that. And of course leather gloves means I can take this off the, uh, off the burner nicely. And I've got some way of frying off some food. So that's it guys, that's my that's effectively my brew kit, but also can double up as a cook kit as well. If, uh, if needs be. Um, any questions, comments, please feel free. Positive criticisms would be great. Uh, if you haven't signed up and, and registered, uh, please do so. Any negativity, of course, will be uh, ignored. So I uh, hope you like that, guys, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in another video.